Uh, thus far, we have redefined the term Shechina as used by both the, the Gemara and Rashi as the process of drawing down into a revealed form that which was previously hidden. In the case of Yaakov, it was the Kedusha levels associated with the Achrit Hayamim, the Messianic period. This was reflected in the statement of Nistalka Shechina, not that the Shechina God departed from Yaakov, but rather God withdrew his right to reveal that which was previously hidden. In other words, he could not proceed with plan A, and therefore undertook plan B, the blessing of his twelve sons. In support of this redefinition, we see that the Nevoa powers remained with Yaakov, evidenced by the fact that embedded into the Brachot were a number of prophecies, such as that given with respect to Yehuda, Ad Kiyove Shiloh, Shiloh, a term used for the Messianic age. And thirdly, although the Nistalka Shechina primarily affected the recipients, namely the sons of Yaakov, this also had an impact upon Yaakov himself, similar to the situation regarding Moshe Rabbeinu, whereby not only did the removal of Kedusha affect the Bnei Israel, but also had a negative impact upon Moshe Rabbeinu himself. Lech Red, Lech, physically descend to the people, Red, go down, diminish in the levels of Kedusha, to which you had previous access. The Rebbe will now question the fourth point, Nistalka Shechina Mimeno, from Yaakov, by noting that a distinction can be made between the situation of Yaakov and his sons to that of Moshe Rabbeinu and smashing the Luchot. With respect to Moshe Rabbeinu, the Lech raid is justifiable on account of the fact that there was a change of circumstances. That change of circumstances was the construction and the worship of the Egel HaZahav, an event that was so serious that God was willing to annihilate the entire nation and start again. And therefore, the Lech Red, Red Migdulatacha, from now on you will have no access to the levels of Kedusha that were available to you previously, is understandable. In light of the fact that the circumstances changed from when Moshe ascended Har Sinai to receive the first set of Luchot. This was not the situation with respect to Yaakov and his twelve sons. Here, there was no change in any circumstances between the decision to Hey Asfu Lachem to draw down the Pnimiot Orein Sof into a revealed form to his sons and the realization that this would not eventuate Nistalka Shchinamimeno. As such, one may ask, what was it that Yaakov hoped to accomplish with Plan A to Legalot et Aketz, given the possibility that Hakash Baruch would not allow him to carry through with his intentions?